Hello everybody and today I'm going to show you how to create a DXX fi DXF file to bring into Onshape from Adobe Illustrator so that you don't have to manually trace out images in Onshape. This will work with any color image as well, um, pretty much any image. So I'm looking up some free art just to, for the sakes of this video. So I looked up Silhouette Free Clip Art and I found this, this bison. Uh, you could use anything you want, it's, you know, just at your own discretion. So I'm going to right click and go save image as, and then I'm going to go, um, I don't know, what is that? Bison or something like that. Sure. I got a bison there. Typically you want a PNG JPEG file. It kind of doesn't really matter. Once we get it, we'll do what we have to it. Then you're going to come over to Adobe Illustrator. You're going to look for the little AI symbol and your screen probably won't have a canvas, but once you do, you're going to go file new. And you want to change this to inches over here. Changing it to inches will just make it easier for you to kind of know what's going on if you're just starting out. And I'm going to do six by six. You can do two by two or 10 by 10. It doesn't make a difference. And once you have it, you'll hit create. Now, once you're here, you go into open file and then go to place. You'll find your image. So I got bison. Click, bring it in. So there's a bison. Now notice it was not a high resolution file. So basically as we make it bigger, it's gonna get more pixelated around the edges. What we want is this program to trace this out for us. And Adobe Illustrator has a feature that does that and that's called image trace. So we come up onto the top here, mine's in the toolbar, so I can hit image trace or you go to object, object image trace, and we go make. We don't use make and expand. You can, uh, but then it doesn't allow for the functionality of just using make. It allows us to tweak a little bit. So I hit make. Notice it basically outlined it out for me. Then if I want to tweak it a little bit, because it maybe doesn't look the exact way I want, I can come over to here. So this image trace panel can be brought up to get that. You click this button over here and it brings up the panel. Mine's usually hidden on the side here. I use it quite a bit. So then once you're here, you can hit more or less with threshold. If you open your panel up and you see advanced is kind of hidden, click it. And now you can make the paths a little bit better. Now notice as we do that with the paths, it kind of changes a little bit and you can do that with corners as well. So you can smooth out corners or make them sharper. It's up to you. It depends on what you're looking for. And the same thing with the noise. Now, if it's a straight up black and white image, you usually don't have a problem with noise. So you don't have to worry about it. Um, if you're doing a color one, sometimes I change it from black to white to grayscale, which I'm not going to do it for this. Let's keep things nice and easy. So I normally bring the paths quite a bit up and corners. Once they're there and I have an image I want, I'm going to hit expand. Now, notice you'll see a thin blue line around it and this blue thing here. That is what we wanted. We wanted it to create that traced outline so that we could bring it into Onshape. Um, from here, I usually do a little bit of editing to kind of clean things up because this box is here. I want to get rid of that for the sake of using it in Onshape. To do that, I'm going to go to layers. So mine is this image right here. It's the two little paper things, whatever they are. And when you open it up, you'll see it's got a drop down and it'll say group. So while highlighted, I go object, ungroup. And notice it opens up more because now it kind of separates out everything. Then once we're here, usually the bottom one is the outline of like this boxed outline. Click it, delete. And you'll notice that now it disappears. Sometimes you have to play with these a little bit to kind of get them the way you, the, uh, it'll make a box of multiple pieces, sometimes not. So you need to be careful in deleting them. Sometimes it takes a little work to go through. And once you're there, this is now the image you want. So you can use it directly like this. I normally come over and there's a fill and stroke. I take the fill, I get rid of it. And then for the stroke, I make it black. Sometimes the black's not over here. You can come over to here, one of these color panels, like this one, let's see. And in the color panel, sometimes you'll see black straight up or even up over here. It like kind of comes and goes a little bit, but whatever, change it to black. You'll see it there, small icons, it's a little tough. So that is the outline I needed. From here, I'm going to come over and I'm going to go file. You know, I would save it first. So let's save, uh, whatever. Bison, spelt it wrong. It's fine. Like everything else. Hit OK for that. And then I'm going to go file, export, export as, and bison. 
or boson as I spelt it. Notice I have it changed to DXF, hit export, and we're gonna hit OK again. There's, that's done with Adobe Illustrator. Come over and let's get to on shapes. So now I'm in on shape here and I'm gonna create a sketch. So sketch, I'm gonna do it on that top plane. Let's throw it in like that. And you'll see that there's nothing there to do yet. So there's DXS right here, but it will sometimes, if you click it, will allow you to import directly here. If not, you can go to the plus sign down here. Import, buy some DXF, hit open, shows it as there it is. And now over here, it reshowed back up, click on it. And there's your bison. Let's close that. That is pretty much good to go. And notice it's grayed out, which means to close loop. Sometimes it's not closed or pieces are not closed. So you gotta go in and tweak it a little bit to click at the closed loops that you need. Click it. And if we wanna extrude it out, all right, we hit extrude and there it is. And let's just say I want it to 0.25 for whatever reason. And that's it, check. And that is your bison fully extruded right there. Uh, you didn't have to manually trace or do anything. And that took, I don't know, maybe like three minutes to do. And that's it, that's how you bring it in. This is no different for Fusion 360, it's basically the same exact thing. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you like it, like it. If you wanna subscribe, subscribe. And that is it. We'll be doing a little bit more on Onshape and Adobe Illustrator in um, future videos, so stay tuned. Have a great night, everyone, bye.